Welcome back to Political Insiders. I'm John LeBoutlier here with Doug Schoen, Martin Hinton. Uh, not getting as much press as the Republicans these days because there is no seeming race on the Democratic side as of today, Doug. Hillary, everyone says Hillary's it. But we all know that sitting there is a candidate, Elizabeth Warren, who, if she wanted to run and did run, could be devil Hillary and maybe even defeat her. Yeah. Well, what I did in my you have an op-ed piece, piece in, in the, the, journal, in the Wall Street today, Journal, and today. I would urge all the fans of political insiders, obviously, to check it out and let me know what you think. But here's what I did: I said, "Look, nobody's really polled this race. I mean, you poll a national audience, 55, 60 percent for Hillary, 10 for Warren. I get that. It's not screened for primary voters. It's not an early primary voter." poll when you do a national poll. So I looked at Iowa and New Hampshire. And in Iowa, it was 51-35 for Hillary. Not but great. Not, not great. great. Not Considering great. she was ahead of Obama, 56-12 to 12 when she started and finished a poor third. Right. And then in New Hampshire, obviously Warren's from a neighboring state, it was 49-42. They both had near 90% approvals. And when you gave them Warren's message of income inequality, regulate the banks versus Hillary, she moved ahead of Hillary. Look, my take on this is the following. This is a very, very competitive race. If, and it's obviously a very big if, Warren gets in. She said she's not. But, you know, I just say that politics abhors a, back, a vacuum. And if you're looking at a situation where you can win the nomination and where other polling has shown the strong message of change cuts across party lines. I'm not sure Warren will sit there and no, maintain w- a, 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 a her, her she's current. She's 65 party. or six years yeah, old. Yeah. So this now is, or but this never. is we talk about leadership. And Pat's had his Mr. Smith goes to Washington. If you're Elizabeth Warren and you've got to that level in politics in America, and you look out like. Doug has just done, and you see an opportunity to run this country, and you believe in what your yeah. your message, you believe in America, and you don't take it, then I don't want you to run. Yeah. If this, if the if the opportunity exists to and succeed and exist. win, and it does, yeah. and you don't run, then you're not you're not up for it. Okay, so, so, so if, I, if you if, if it's there, I, you want a strong candidate, right, so whether you agree with it or not about anything. It's right. passion so, matters. Passion, oh, uh, passion's everything. And the, by the way, these Republicans really don't have any passion for anything other than their own candidacy. She, Elizabeth. Warren She's is the one person who has a passion for a program. Yeah, right. Maybe the wrong program. <laughs> no, but she's ve- what, she, well, what she's in favor of is Hillary's very, very vulnerable about totally. too. So she can really take her out right. in that respect in a, in, a, in a big way if she goes. So Doug, she has the same thing that Romney does, which is if she could beat Hillary in Iowa, and Hillary is inherently weak there, and then come home to next door New Hampshire and win there, she's going to be the nominee. She will knock out Hillary Clinton in Four weeks. Well, I th- certainly can, the article today says that is certainly possible. Look, there are a lot of ifs in this whole process. But that being said, uh, if I was Elizabeth Warren, I would um, certainly take a okay. second look. The downside for her is this: she's still a senator if she l- runs and loses. It doesn't give up her Senate yeah. seat, right? And Bill Clinton will come after her with vicious payback once they're back in the White House. Yeah, that's I, the risk. Yeah, that, but if you that, care about the country, that's what I mean. Yeah, that, that that doesn't matter. There are sacrifices worth making, and becoming the president is a big sacrifice. So by worth. now, when we're taping this segment, Elizabeth Warren has read your column. Well, I assume she has, and we don't know if she's done. She any hasn't polled. Poll, has she, <laughs> but has she done polling? Have the, has other polling been done in I, Iowa, New Hampshire? I suspect that she has not done it. Um. I said in my article, I assume that my former employee, Joel Benenson, Obama's current pollster, has done it for Hillary. Because, look, whether Warren runs or not, these numbers suggest that Hillary can come down from the lofty perch she now enjoys, whether it be to Bernie Sanders, uh, uh, Jim Webb, or some other candidate. Martin O'Malley. Yeah. But they're, they're not, they're not, they don't have the... They're not the going to be it. able to beat her, but she does have vulnerability. Yeah. I, I, the two other things that go into this, Wall Street Journal a month ago polled the ca- the Democratic county chairman I saw in the, Iowa, yeah. and half of them were lukewarm on Hillary. Yeah. That's interesting. And we know about the focus group in Denver yep. three weeks ago that Dan Baltz wrote about, right. where they took 12 voters, threw all sorts of stuff at them, Republican, Democrat, Independent, and what came out of it was one person, I, mean, I know we have to end here, was Elizabeth Warren. 
cut through all of them. Yep. And a little bit Rand Paul. He yep. is someone who does well, stand th for Their some. message resonates with the same people. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. Make sure you watch more of us Sunday night, 730, with Harris Faulkner on the Fox News Channel. Martin Hinton, Doug Schoen, John LaBoutlier. Have a great week.